Hi, in this demo video of Phone Titan and Salesforce, I will show you how to create a unique URL per contact. So when they get that URL from you, they click on it and they see their own information so they can update it. The first thing to do is from the widgets to bring a hidden field. We'll call that hidden field contact ID because this is how we're going to identify the contact. Next, we will drop in their full name to show them their full name, just like that. We will bring in their email address. And we will bring in their source, where they, how did we get their details. So just make it a bit bigger and call it source. Next, I will just remove all the options from this dropdown. And now we're ready to connect this to Salesforce. We'll go to the Salesforce integration tab, map fields to get data from Salesforce. And now we can add an object to map. So I'll click add object. And here we can select our object. In my case, it's contact, but you can use any kind of object, including custom objects you created in Salesforce. Next, we have to say how to get it. And again, this is just by contact ID. So we say contact ID in Salesforce equals the contact ID hidden field and now tell us how to map from Salesforce to the form. So we want the first name from Salesforce to go to our first name, last name to last name, email to email and so on and so forth, including our drop down. And if I click apply now and apply again, this is all I have to do. Now, if we want them to update the details as well, we will click on push to Salesforce, push notifications in order to update the data. So let's do that, click edit. And again, we need to add the object we want to create or update. So I'll click add object. Ob ob I will select again the contact object because that's what we want to update. The action will be update, set conditions. Again, the condition will be the contact ID in Salesforce equals the contact ID on the form. And then we just need to map the fields to update. So we want to update their last name, their first name, their email, and obviously their source, for example. Okay, that's all we have to do <coughs> in order for the user to read and update data and in Salesforce. So let's see this form in action. I will click publish and now view. You can see when the form first opened, obviously nothing happens because we didn't pass a parameter. So how, we pa how do we pass a parameter to Salesforce? Very simple. You go, you find out your hidden field ID. In our case, it's field 96. So we will go to field 96 and pass it the parameter just like that. FLD 96 equals, and then we can just take a contact ID from Salesforce put it in here and now it's there. The contact is there, you can see the source, you can, you can see the email. So let's update a few things. Let's update the email, remove the X maybe, and maybe they are from a purchase list. When I click update, it will go to Salesforce and update this contact. Let's see, there you go, everything has been updated. And this is the contact in Salesforce itself. If I refresh the page, you can see that it's been updated as per the page. Now, you can also add this URL in Salesforce so it's easier for you to send it to the client. How do you do that? You go to Setup, and then in there, we will go to the Contact Object. We will say Add New Field. We had a formula field that is text-based. We'll call it URL, for example. And then all we have to do is put in the URL for this form. So if I go back here, copy this URL, put it all in quotes, but remove the ID obviously, and just concatenate the ID by insert field and contact ID. Insert it, there you go. If you check the syntax, you can see that it is valid. So let's click next and let's save it. And now if I go back to my contact, 
you can see that I can easily send them this link which will just be their own personal URL if you like. Thank you very much.